David Bay here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Germany for FIBO 2015. I'm hanging out here with four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. Jay, it's been a little bit since we've talked. Uh, how about just giving all the fans at MuscularDevelopment.com, uh, you know, a general update on you know what you've been up to and what you've been doing. Uh, well, first of all, we're at the FIBO here. We're here at the Cutler Nutrition booth, and uh, we're displaying all the products. I've been over here. This is uh, the last day now of the trade show, so uh, it's, it's been a lengthy trip. A lot of fans here. This is obviously, I think, the busiest day I've seen so yeah, far walking crazy. through. Uh, I've been traveling all over the world. I was able to tour last year here, the end of the year, uh, kind of get the, the new look of the line out and uh, see the fans and, you know, busy, busy. I mean, it's uh, it's taken a different turn now, being not as competitive on stage, but I've been busier than I've ever been traveling and doing all sorts of things throughout the U.S. and overseas. Yeah, well, it speaks volumes about your fan base and, and how much people love Jay Cutler over here. You haven't competed for a few years, but yet if we're looking at lines here at FIBO, and this is a huge expo, I'd say it's pretty much hands down. Jay Cutler has the most people waiting. we got people taking pictures and everything. It's been pretty crazy here. The fans here in Europe love you. You know, we talked to a couple other guys earlier, you know, asking for some insight as far as the differences between, you know, some of the expos back home versus over here in Europe. What are some of the differences that you notice coming over here to Europe as opposed to back home at, say, like the Arnold or the Olympia Expo? I think the expos are getting busier. Uh, I know, you know, the standard has kind of changed. I mean, bodybuilding was ma the main thing here. Now you see more of the aesthetic guys, which is kind of cool because being a promoter, I promote a lot of events in the United States. Of uh, so I have a lot of men's physique competitors, uh, obviously women's bikini, but. Uh, you see the, the trend is changing a little bit, like the guys used to come and to be really hardcore here, but there's so much now uh, a different range of athletes uh, and people being able to compete and obviously look, sometimes it's more of a YouTube thing. So I think the internet has kind of changed uh, the vis visibility of a lot of the athletes and now you can become more popular obviously with the social media, uh, Instagram, obviously still, you know, muscular development is covering a lot of the events. So it's kind of cool that you guys are here. They had the pro show that got canceled. I know that's why uh, you guys were probably coming over here. Absolutely. But as you see, you can do so much more. You can get around and get talking to different athletes that are here. And I'm sure you've had a great trip. So um, it's just, it's kind of cool to see everything in progression and not really falling back. I think we're still gaining traction and bodybuilding is still relevant at every high level. But the fans here are just, they don't get to see the athletes as much. Especially the guys like myself and Kai Green, Phil Heath, all those guys. So it's, it's just really cool to be able to interact even though the language barrier can be difficult sometimes. Most of them are speaking English. I noticed it's a little easier this year. Right. And uh, they appreciate it. And that's, that's why we're here. Yeah, and one of the things I had touched base on with a couple other guys that I interviewed and, you know, this is my first time in FIBO, and one of the things I've noticed, and this certainly isn't to knock the fans back home in the States, but they're, everybody here is in shape. You know, when you when you when you go to some of the expos, I've been at the Arnold and the Olympia. You get a really wide variety of fans, and you know, when people go there for the first time, you think it's going to be everybody looks like a competitor, and it's not it's not really that way. And again, that's that's nothing against you know the people back home. It's just you know people are fans and they're not necessarily competitors. But when you come here to Europe, it's like everybody, and a lot of them look like they're men's physique competitors. But everybody looks like uh, you know they're they're, they're aiming to, to get on a well, stage. The thing that's changed with the expos is more guys have their shirts off walking around. I think that's how I saw that at the Arnold too uh, in Ohio but you see more guys I mean they're standing in booths with no shirts on back in my day I've been coming here since 99 was my first uh, how many booths have you stood in without your shirt on no, not not many it's not it wasn't popular bodybuilders don't take their shirts off and stand around I, I think you know a lot of them it's do you want do you want safe. do you want to you want to no, no 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 I mean only when you're in shape but even when I was in shape it it just you know you feel like kind of as you see, I mean, look around here. I mean, the people are just kind of like, they kind of stare, and you can see them, like, whispering, like, you wonder what they're saying sometimes. But I guess that's part of the game, and it's it's brought more attention. It's given more people opportunity, and I think that's what, what this is about. The Expos are about opportunity for people. There's going to be new stars that emerge every year, uh, more popularity, and, and uh, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, it certainly is. And, and, again, you know, this 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 is one of these rare opportunities for all the fans over here in Europe to meet all 
all the competitors. You know, I think the guys back home take for granted a little bit some of the opportunities we have as bodybuilding fans to meet our favorite pros and, and get autographs and things like that. Uh, moving forward for the rest of 2015, you know, what's on your schedule? What do you have planned? Uh, from here, I actually go back to the States. I have appearances every weekend, I think until July, pretty much every weekend. I have shows I'm promoting. I just did my Vegas event, the, the Desert Classic out there. I have the Jay Cutler Boston event, the Classic out there, uh, Memorial Weekend. Uh, and then it just rolls from there. I'm just continuing to, to get out there. I'm promoting Cutler Nutrition mainly, launching a couple, a couple of new products are launching out. We have um, some really cool things on the horizon we have a lot of good products obviously the ones that compete with with uh, the majority of things that are out there but I just launching an ISO protein that's launching next month and also uh, a creatine product so the, the lines continuing to grow it's getting more notoriety I'm publicizing that but I'm being out there and being in the face uh, more than ever and really getting people aware of, of the existence of it and it's it's doing really really well so my focus is just to keep traveling uh, get you know stay in the gym and keep working out my goal now isn't to be as big I've said it a million times I know people are like oh Jay's up he's down what's going on with him is he gonna compete he's, he's still he's still pretty big I'm, uh, I'm angling you a little bit here uh, but I gotta step back I'm, 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 I'm under 250 now everyone keeps asking me what do you weigh and, and kind of what's the goal and are you gonna compete this year not competing this year uh, I know there's been a few people that I'm not gonna not gonna out. take up Ronnie Ronnie's uh, challenge I'm, I'm not gonna take up the Ronnie Coleman challenge in 2016 he wants to compete you know I, I don't know if that's gonna happen but uh, it's it's one of those things where I'm just trying to stay in better shape uh, I haven't been in the gym as much lately as I like to I do cardio every day but uh, the weights are just kind of put on the to side I'm under 250 now and uh, the goal is just uh, you know keep moving forward and stay in, in some sort of decent shape my diet's been really really well so all right well it looks like you're doing a great job of that as well as everything else here um, you have a, a huge Jay just got here a little bit ago was kind enough to do our interview right away and already he's amassed a huge line of people that are waiting to get autographs get some of your merchandise and your supplements. So we're going to let you get going, get back to your fans. Uh, so for myself and everybody at musculardevelopment.com, we thank you very much for the interview. I uh, hope you have a rest of your trip. is great here in Germany, and we're going to wrap it up. So guys, once again, from the 2015 FIBO Expo, this is David Bay with four-time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler for musculardevelopment.com.